Hello world and welcome to Gadget Class. Today we're going to do a central uh, new phone unlocking and setup on an AT&T based Samsung Galaxy S4 Active version. This is the active version of the Samsung Galaxy S4. This uh, quick setup will include a super easy route. We're going to enable Wi-Fi tethering for free. We're going to enable USB mass storage mode and also enable uh, USB debugging and developer options. So first things first, let's root this baby. Start the timer. You're going to want to use a Chrome browser instead of the built-in browser. The built-in browser will not go to this website. You're going to go to this website, geohot.com forward slash active root. That'll take you to this website here. You're going to click on the symbol. Chrome will give you a warning saying that this type of file can harm your computer. Just hit OK. Start the download. Pull down your notification bar. Download is complete. Click on it. Um, it's giving me a warning, a warning there because I already have it installed. You're just going to hit install and it'll install it. And then you're going to open it up and you will see a dark screen like this. It'll have a root phone button. You're going to hit that button. And once you hit it, you'll see this screen here. Thank you for using Active Root. Your phone should now be rooted. If you enjoy this, please donate at geohot.com slash active root. Go ahead and buy the guy a beer. That's the simplest root I've ever seen. You're done. Your phone is now rooted, and you now have the ability to install Super SU and uh, plenty of other goodies. Uh, next things next, we're going to go to the Play Store and we're going to download a few essential applications. Uh, this is already here, so let's start with Root Browser. Just type in uh, for Root Browser. You'll see it like that. Open it and install it. Or install it, anyways. Next thing we're going to install is Foxfy. There are two programs you need. Since this is an AT&T based uh, Galaxy S4, we're going to go with the Sprint AT&T version of Foxfy. You can go ahead and click on that, install that. And you do want the Foxfy add-on as well. This gives you the ability to use a proxy server to kind of mask your internet traffic. So you're going to go ahead and install that also. Go back out. Next thing we're going to want to install is USB mass storage enabler. Click on that, install that, back out. And then finally, we're going to install SuperSU. Normally I do this first, but for the ease of the video here, I did it last so that you could see how it works. Because as soon as you install it, it's going to want to install binaries. So you're going to go ahead and download that and install it. And here I'm going to go ahead and open it up for you. Um, I just updated my binaries, um, but the first thing you'll see when you open it up, it'll ask you if you want to update binaries. You're going to go ahead and click yes. It's going to give you uh, an option about um, Clockwork Mod. Um, go ahead and click normal there. It'll install SuperSU, and now you have uh, root access permissions for your phone. Go ahead and exit back out to your home screen. And we're going to go ahead and start with uh, USB mass storage mode enabler. Click that. Click mass storage mode. Bam. You have USB mass storage mode enabled. Um, this allows you to use the memory card in your phone as a normal flash drive. So you can copy whatever the hell you want onto your phone um, just like it was a hard drive or a normal flash drive. Um, not like MTP where it only does audio and video files and it makes no sense whatsoever to me. Um, so, bam, we have mass storage mode. Uh, next thing we're going to do is, uh, let's go ahead and open up root browser. We'll get, a, get rid of AT&T's uh, root nag. Um, it'll give you a nagging thing every time you root and saying you, your phone's dangerous because it's rooted or some crap like that. Uh, we're going to get rid of that and we're going to uh, get rid of the Wi-Fi tether restrictions. So you're going to open up uh, root browser. I'll go ahead and uh, go back here so you can see where we start from. 
So you're going to go to open up root browser, go to system, go to app, and basically these are all your system apps. And let's start with Knox Agent, K N O X. Pretty long list. Uh, just take your time, you'll find the files. All right. Noxagent.apk. You're going to want to long click. Go to rename. Yours will not have the .old at the end. That's what you want to put on there. You're going to want to either change the file name completely, delete the file, or do what I do. I just put a .old at the end of it. That way, if I'm ever wanting to go back, all I have to do is uh, do a quick search for .old, and all my changed files will come up. So put a put a .old at the end. Click OK. It's already changed, so I have to click Cancel. Next, not noxagent.odex, long click, rename, .old, OK. All right, next file we're going to want to find is tetheringprovision.odex. Hmm. Tethering provision, let's start with .apk. Long click, rename, dot old, okay. Tethering provision, provision dot odex, long click, rename, dot old, okay. Uh, next we want um, wssyncmldm. Here we go. Y S S Y W S S Y N C M L D M dot A P K Long Click Rename dot O L D OK. I'm not sure if you need to do the ODEX file too. I'm gonna go ahead and redo it. If I can do this left handed here. Just like that. Okay. Renaming. We're now complete. You now get not get root nags and you should be fully able to um, to tether. So we're gonna go ahead and exit out. Uh, let's go ahead and enable developer options. Go ahead and hit settings. More. Go down to about phone. You're going to go down to build number. You're going to click that about seven times. It'll, it'll pop up saying you need to click it so many more times to enable developer mode, mode options, but it usually takes about seven times. Um, go back out. You'll now see developer options here in your system manager. And when you open that, you want to click the check mark for USB debugging. There's other stuff in there too, but that's the, that's the nitty gritty one that you want right there. All right, so let's go ahead and open up Foxfy. And you're just going to activate a Wi-Fi hotspot. So just check that box right there. You can change your network name and your password. Um, it'll start the hotspot. This happens um, on the AT&T Galaxy S4 Active. It happens, but um, as you can see, it's actually still active. So let's open it back up. And go down to um, Menu. And what the Foxfy add-on does is en enable this proxy right here. If you don't have Foxfy add-on installed, it'll say download uh, add-on right here, and it'll take you to the Play Store to download the add-on. But once you have the Foxfy add-on installed, you're going to come down here, click that button to enable proxy, and that'll route all your traffic through a proxy server on the internet so that it's harder for your carrier to detect uh, tethering. So that's, uh, that's our tethering 
All said and done. And that, that's pretty much it. We're now rooted. We have root access. Um, we've gotten rid of the root nag. We have Wi-Fi tethering enabled. We have USB mass storage mode enabled. And uh, we have developer, mo uh, developer mode enabled. So um, there's uh, plenty more to learn about the Samsung Galaxy S4 and other phones. Um, if you liked or found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Um, we have uh, nice goodies coming up like uh, region lock away for Samsung Galaxy based devices as well as plenty of product reviews 